our nodes are very, very unique uh, compared to other nodes in, in again, uh, standalone projects or uh, even other senior protocols that use nodes. And the whole idea of nodes uh, is that you buy a node and then over time it emits uh, more than what you've invested uh, little by little. And so most node projects, um, they transact in native token. Um, in our case, it's EMP. Um, uh, but say, you know, platform XYZ uh, gives you X token uh, as a reward. Well, without any additional UK use case or uh, uh, you know, uh, in uncontrolled inflation, that, that the only way to realize profit is to just sell the X token to oblivion. And that's why we've seen all these other node projects fail, um, because again, just being able to sell and sell and sell, uh, and then the only way to pay the rewards, same with, uh, you know, uh, these, um, rebase tokens, um, you know, that they're just, it's, it's uncontrolled inflation with EMP, we have controlled inflation. And so the nodes that are emitting EMP, that's, uh, that's EMP that's already in the ecosystem that's been produced through the boardroom over the last, uh, six months of the protocol. So. Uh, again, that's a really fundamental difference, and uh, the question was, you know, I'm in nodes, I, I understand about nodes, but why does the APR continue to go down? So, um, uh, and, and really, the APR is only going down because we are below peg, and this is the brilliant part of how we have designed uh, our own nodes, is that, you know, a lot of people jump into nodes not knowing the ecosystem, and then just continue to sell EMP from those nodes and that's not what you want to do um and and we have talked about this a lot on the amas uh, is that nodes are meant to essentially be a backup boardroom uh for you for when the boardroom is not printing uh, as long as you have nodes you're still able to take that emp and uh create more lps uh, with that EMP, but the last thing you want to do is sell that EMP. And I think a lot of people that are new to the protocol, they, they buy a node um, and they want to receive the ROI, so they just continue to dump EMP. But uh, the reason APR is going down slightly, again, I mean, we're talking, uh, you know, 0.01% uh, uh, um, over the last few days that it has dropped, but that's because we're below peg. So uh, even if you're a bad actor, and you want to sell your EMP from nodes, um, you want us to be above peg because the higher above peg we are, the more the nodes pay out. So uh, if you're if you're not happy with the APRs dropping, uh, that means that you're probably selling EMP uh, and the idea is to either buy new nodes to compound into with that EMP or just hold your EMP uh, again because the less selling pressure on EMP, the better we have uh, recovering peg. One thing that a lot of people don't realize is that node APR is variable depending on uh, how far above or below peg we are. So um, basically, the question was, uh, does it does the APR drop when we're below peg for an extended period of time? Um, and the answer is yes and no. So uh, again, if we're below peg, node APRs are reduced, and that is done on purpose because, again, it's a way for our system to protect itself. Um, uh, and if you're going into nodes just to, to uh, yield EMP and then dump that EMP for profit anyway, uh, then you're doing it wrong. Um, so, uh, you know, that, that's why, again, there's another level of protection uh, in the economics of the protocol. The idea is that you want to accumulate EMP through nodes and then use that EMP to go into the farm. Uh, and, and to clarify what the question was, um, uh, does it matter how long we're below peg? And that answer is no. So uh, it, it's just based on how far uh, above and below we're seeing it. Even though we've kind of started to recover peg a little bit, we're still seeing uh, the APR uh, drop slightly. Um, and that's just because of, again, daily volume, uh, not a lot of new nodes being purchased um, that will affect the APR as well. Um, so we, the longer we are below peg, uh, it could still drop the APRs um, a little bit more, uh, but it's not based on the code. Uh, the code simply boosts the APR when we're above peg uh, because part of the boardroom emissions go to pay nodes um, uh, and truly make it uh, make nodes, uh, you know, sustainable.